After developing a life-saving protocol for the notorious spike protein, a famous doctor recently blew the whistle on something called antibody-dependent enhancement, otherwise known as ADE. He noted that a new drug from a recent study might be the only way to stop the devastating effects that can occur from this condition. Normally, antibodies are created in response to viral injection therapy, and these antibodies bind and neutralize the target virus, preventing infection at the cell level. However, a recent review states, in some viruses, the binding of specific antibodies to viral surface proteins can promote viral invasion into cells instead and enhance viral infection. This effect is called antibody-dependent enhancement. So in other words, with certain families of viruses, injection therapy can increase both the chances that one will get sick from viral infection and the intensity of the illness. Because of this effect, these researchers advocate for informed consent. To understand why sialic acid might be beneficial for this condition, first we'll note that sialic acids are cell protectors, mainly located on the surface of cell membranes. They've been shown in research to protect infants against intestinal and H. pylori infections. Building on this idea, another review states that elderly patients exhibit a lower sialic acid content in saliva compared to children, confirming that sialylation processes decrease all over the body with aging. This same study review cites evidence that spike protein targets sialic acids on cell membranes to initiate viral infection, an idea that's supported by yet another study. The authors of the review suggest supplementing with sialic acid compounds to reduce inflammation and viral load. But would supplementing with sialic acid be safe? Sialic acid is also known by its more formal name, N-acetyl-D-neuraminic acid, or simply NANA. Researchers investigating its safety as a food ingredient declared Free NANA is linked to positive nutritional effects, including pronounced antioxidative properties. These data and the extremely high safety profile of NANA justify dietary enrichment. The European Food Safety Authority, when responding to an application to use NANA as a novel food ingredient for the general population, concluded that NANA was safe to use in both fortified foods and supplements for those above 10 years of age. So would NANA be effective as a medicine against spike protein? Scientists took that question to task in a recent study entitled For enhanced bioavailability, they formulated a derivative of NANA called NANAMI, which is short for NANA methyl ester. They report that this drug is able to work by replacing the missing sialic acid in cell membranes. And according to their data, this significantly reduced the sickness and death caused by pathogenic anti-spike antibodies. They end by saying, Compared to existing antiviral drugs, the formulation has a unique method of action, broad spectrum of indications, excellent safety profile, resistance to mutations, and can be easily produced. Do be advised that Nanami is an experimental therapy available only from medical chemical suppliers. Proceed with caution, and I'll see you in the next video.